favorite Latino Narsha and this time I'm here with Caster Tetcher. Tetcher, how are you doing on this final day of DreamHack Summer? I am doing pretty f***ing honestly, I just finished doing the awards. I am ridiculously warm right now and a little bit tired but the grand finals are coming up. I'm going to watch it from the crowd just to get the energy because it's going to be so cool. Yeah, it, being in the crowd all this tournament, like, it's something completely different than watching me from home. Like, the energy, the hype that is in there, it's, uh, it's something special. And we just mentioned it, you have been to a lot of tournaments. You've been casting a lot, analyzing a lot, but this is something special, isn't it? It really is. DreamHack Summer is always very huge in terms of uh, the crowd interaction. I would say it's DreamHack Summer first and then maybe Valencia second, back when we actually had Lucifron and Vortex Team Liquid, where it was the Spanish. Spanish fans behind it. That was huge, but this is going to be monumental at this one. This full Swedish team in the grand finals, it's going to go crazy. Yeah, it definitely is. And we've seen some great games like all weekend long, and we just finished off the, or before the show match, it was the L5 versus Dignitas for who gets to play uh, Fnatic in the final. It, of course, went to a 3 2. Well, what do you think about that series? Uh, it was fantastic for starters, and it really shows that everyone saw the interviews with Korea where they said they came in and they were like, we don't think we prepared. And it shows, and that's not a thing of putting down Europe, that's a thing of sh not shaming Korea, but if you don't practice, you're going to lose, and that is why uh, Europe have managed to step up. They've been getting better and better each time, and Korea just haven't have improved as fast. So that victory with Dignitas over L5 there really shows the exchange of power. Whether that continues, we will see, but for now, it is a marvelous thing. Yeah, it's interesting that you mentioned that because now we have two European teams in the grand final. And it's, of course, spectacular, but we haven't seen that before. Like, it's usually the Korean overlords that have controlled the top spots in the tournaments. But some something that has shifted, like, what's the reason, do you think, for that? Is, is it maybe because the HGC European League is so strong? Like, it's packed with a lot of good teams. I think it is very much due to... Uh, the way the teams are treating uh, HTC in general. For Europe, it seems to have created an unprecedented area of growth where you have the huge set of top teams, like I would say the five top teams in Europe are all just so much rising in level. And now that we have the Open Division teams in as well, not only do we continue to raise that level, but we get new experiences, new drafts, new players in, etc. So everything keeps evolving, whereas in Korea, we saw for this tournament, they're starting to stagnate a bit. They're treating it differently. They're not getting any new talent from their open division. The level is so wide between the top and the bottom. And now hopefully this would be a good wake up call for Korea because I would love to see how much higher they can go because they're already right at the top. But really it, is, it does seem to be how teams are treating HGC in general. Because the Korean, like the mechanics, like we see, it's still like e exemplary. They're still amazing, but they didn't seem as prepared. Uh, but uh, you kind of mean, uh, was touching upon it. How important do you think like the grass route, like the amateur scene, like we're representing Heroes, Heroes Lounge, we're here for them. And how important do you think that is to like create a vibrant scene? Grassroots is probably one of the most important things in the scene. I would say outside, like there's two good things you need for anything to succeed. And that is a top level and a good bottom level. If you have a top level where everyone is playing in that and all the best players are there, and then a just sort of empty bottom level, no one's going to be motivated to step up to the top. No one's going to have that experience to get into esports and get interested either as a spectator or as a player. If you have both, if you ha have that good bottom level that Heroes Lounge offers, then you are able to just continuously grow the scene. You get invested in esports, and if not, you can just have some fun games with your friends. Yeah. Because this game is best in a five stack, playing with friends. Like no one actually likes Hero League, am I right? So, <laughs> and. <laughs> But a fun thing is that um, one of the favorites from the last season in Heroes Lounge, Trove Inc., actually gathered in Tetris Discord. Uh, they're a crowd yeah. favorite, so thank you for that, I guess. No worries. They're from my, they're from a culmination of mine, Grubby, and Kendrick's, where they all spread out, but they all uh, were in mine when they first started making it. Everyone else in the Discord who wasn't playing was supporting them. We also have a couple players who are in some of the other teams as well, who which I'm, I can't remember the team names for the moment. But it's great to see people who I see speaking every day in my Discord playing in tournaments at that level and doing, in the case of throwing, much better than expected. Big shout out to you guys. You did spectacularly in that. I still love you all.
<laughs> Good to hear. Uh, we are about to go into the grand final, sir. Between Fnatic and Digas, we can hear behind us. The crowd this type is going to be amazing. But Tetcher, you're a professional analyzer. So you're going to tell me who wins. As much as I would love to see a Fnatic win for the first time, and in terms of skill level and in terms of uh, mistakes that are being made, I would say they could. I'm also a professional memer. And when it comes to two European teams in a final, or any time these two teams have met, have met, Dig win at LAN, lol. So therefore, Dignitas will win the Grand Finals. You're crushing a lot of hearts now. I know, I, like I said, the home field advantage, this place is gonna blow up if Fnatic win. Yeah, yeah. But the curse is real. Fnatic have to overcome the curse to be able to lift that trophy today. We're gonna have to wait and see. The Grand Final starts in five to 10 minutes, but thanks a lot for taking the time. Thank you for having me, had a good time.